Subcommittee Chairman Don Edwards calls it the most successful civil rights act ever passed by the Congress. But it's been a long time since the days of Selma and Montgomery. It's been a long time, too, since 1965 when Congress first passed the Voting Rights Act. Portions of that bill expire in 1982, and the Judiciary Committee is wrestling with the question of whether or not renewal is necessary. Atlantis Ralph Abernathy was among those called before the committee today. The Reverend Abernathy argued for an extension and warned the committee not to be deceived by progress to date. The main complaints for voter registration that have gone to the Justice Department have come since 1975. So things are not getting better where voting is concerned, but things are getting worse. And we must not be lulled to sleep because we have uh, some 6,000 black elected officials with mayors of four or five significant cities in this country of ours. We have got to have that voting rights bill extended. Abernathy says blacks and other minorities still face intimidation, fear, stolen or destroyed votes, all aimed at limiting the effect of minorities at the polls. The federal government, Abernathy cautioned, is responsible for guaranteeing freedom for all people. For that reason, he said, the Voting Rights Act must be extended in its present form for another 10 years. On Capitol Hill, I'm Andy Castles, Action News.